Okay, we are working on uh, the homework 2.3. Students in the statistics class uh, took their second test. The following are scores they earned. Fill in a stem and leaf plot below. Use the tens place as the stem and the ones place as the leaf. Describe the shape of the distribution. Before I start uh, explaining how to solve this problem, I need to explain to you what means stem and leaf plot. So besides of uh, uh, the lecture, you can find uh, in the lecture video, the stem and leaf plot, I'm going to real quick explain here. Stem and leaf, what does it represent? We are arranging data in their position. Uh, first of all, stem and leaf we can use for uh, a sample with small uh, database. And with larger one, we are going to use histogram. Okay, so let's say we have numbers 32, 45, 47, 49, and then uh, we have 63, 65, 62 and then 70 for example so the first numbers that's what we call stem 30 40 okay 40 60 60 60 70 so stem we are writing down uh, on the left side of this line so it's going to be three we have four five is missing but we have to put there down of course and then six and then seven. So um, let me see. Uh, those ones we call leaves two, five, seven, nine, three, five, two, zero. So let me write down 32, three is stem, two is leaf. Four, we have 45 uh, with the stem four, we have 45, 47, 49. So I'm writing down five comma, nine. So if I read, I'm going to read 45, and then I'm going to read 47, and then I'm going to read 49, okay? Now with 50, it's missing, so I don't put anything here. Uh, I don't even put even zero, because if I put zero, it's gonna be reading 50, just like with 70, I'm going to put here zero, okay? Now with 60, we'll have uh, the three, five, two. I'm writing in uh, uh, ascending order, two, three, and five, okay? So in this stem and leaf um, diagram, uh, smallest number is gonna be 32, uh, biggest number it's gonna be 70. Okay, said that, we can go back and start working on our database here. So, Let's answer this question first. Data were collected for, uh, for what? For uh, second test. So meaning only one test. Second doesn't mean two tests, only one test, right? And we have uh, one column. So it's, we collect only here one, okay? And uh, what type of variable it is? It's definitely gonna be uh, quantitative because those are scores in there, okay? Is it appropriate to make a stem uh, leaf uh, plot for the type of data and number of uh, variables? Yes, because you can build stem and leaf for uh, the um, sample, si sample uh, size data of this sample size, let me put this way. How many we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Why am I counting? Um, because the number 30, sample size of 30 is a cornerstone. The number, uh, the, if sample size is more than 30, then you are going to use histogram. 
If it's less than 30, which we collected 27, then you can use uh, the, um, uh, the graphing, uh, uh, the graphing of like um, stem and leaf and then that plot another type Okay, for the data with smaller database, which is uh, less than 30. Since we uh, counted 30, uh, less than 30, 27, so we are answering yes. For this amount, a, a number of variable, we can build stem and leaf. All right, uh, complete stem and uh, leaf. Uh, so with this many uh, data, it's going to be difficult to uh, go through uh, and write down. So the, I'm going to use that crunch. Of course, you can do um, manually, but why not to use technology, okay? So you just can uh, copy with mouse, uh, but again, you have to paste it with Control V. By some reason, with mouse, you cannot paste it. So you can click key, uh, the keys Control V, okay? So let me click here. I'm going to share. In my case, it's not going to copy paste. So I'm going to save in file. All right. And I'm going to put that one again. I am going to replace every time the previous one. There we go. That one. So opening that crunch and uh, data loading from file, from computer. Okay, since I can drag and drop, you can do that on your laptop, but I'm going to use, uh, I think it must be the last one, this one. We'll check it. Uh, no, it's uploaded the uh, old one, 31844. Let me upload again from file, computer, browse. I'm going to do this one. Eighty five. So let's check our um, database so instead of variable once it's uh, always uh, when it you paste information it it's uh, taking also the variable uh, meaning um, title position also 85 but let me check if it copied correct yes 85 and last one is 67 okay Where is it? Oh, here it is. Oh, here it is, 85. So this 85, I'm going to uh, write down here at the end. Okay. And in the title 85, I am deleting and typing variable one, it practically restoring what they had by default. All right, so now uh, we need to answer, uh, fill out the uh, stem and leaves, right? So the best way to do that is uh, arrange in order. So we can see all stems and all leaves. Data. Here it is, sort. Okay, selecting the column. We are sorting the column variable one. Okay, variable one, ascending order. We're good. Replacing. Okay, there we go. And from here, clicking graph, stem and leaf. Here it is. So we are taking variable one, okay. 
where we don't need it, group we don't need it, leaf unit, what is it giving? Uh, we need how many uh, decimal notation, it doesn't give us decimal, so we are not worried about it. And uh, we are clicking compute. There we go. So decimal point is one digit to the right of the column, leaf unit is one. Okay, so we can check and follow. I'm going to take a picture of this so I can enter without uh, going forth and back. But I would like to check uh, 50. Let me see, where is my... Um, yeah. Let me close this because I took the picture of it. And uh, 50. But that's weird. Ah, oh, here it is, 50. Okay, we have it. All right, so I'm going to enter the data here. So first it's going to be with 5. 0, 3, 3. Let me see, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight nine. We have four um, stems. Five six uh, seven eight nine. Five six seven eight nine. If we look here, we have a stem here. Is six? I see seven. I see eight. I see and five. I saw at the beginning here five zero. Okay. So zero three three. Then. It's gonna be what five seven seven eight eight nine nine. Next is gonna be six. The stem leaf is gonna be one four five seven seven eight eight nine. Okay, next is gonna be seven, and here we get three four four. Five nine, and we get stem is eight, so uh, we get zero, four five, and lastly stem nine. We are getting here four. So based on this stem and leaf, I can figure out how many elements I have counting with these leaves. But uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I don't, I'm not going to count, but total it should be, how many does it say? Ah, I counted these numbers, 27. Total should be 27, right? All right, so what shape is the stem and leaf plot above? Let me see what shape does it want. Ah, bell shape, right? Okay, we can find the answer uh, based on our stat crunch. So we click graph and take histogram column is only one okay type uh, okay let it be um, frequency it's not gonna do anything wrong I can put value above and we start with 50 where is my optional? Here it is. Start with 50. I don't know how much it's going to take uh, the width. Uh, it, it's optional, so I don't put it because I'm interested in shape. Nothing more. There we go. If we look at shape, it's definitely, let me explain here. Uh, the shape is going to be either bell-shaped This is bell-shaped. It's going to be uh, skewed to the right And skewed to the left so this one 
it's going to be skewed to the right. This is bell shape. And uh, I, I'm not going to draw the whole histogram, but uh, skewed to the left is gonna be like this, okay? So looking at this histogram, we can say it's skewed to the right, yes? Okay. Where is it? We are picking right skewed. Okay, now let's submit questions, see how we did. Correct, correct, correct. Oh, how they want to put the numbers? Ah, comma. Okay, never mind, just put comma between them, okay? Comma. Manually, I usually put comma. That's wh how I figured out. But this is a software, so I don't know if they... Okay. I'll put this one only. If if it's uh, uh, the accepted, take it as a correct answer, then uh, the rest, you know, put a comma. Okay. Well, looks like it took it. Submit question. I have three attempts on to submit the same question. There we go. Accept it. So on all leaves, uh, please put a comma. Okay. Uh, moving to second question. Let me see. It's the same thing, practically. Data were collected uh, and uh, variables are uh, quantitative. Uh, again, correct, collected for one item. And uh, you have to put stem and leaf, uh, and it's gonna be the same thing, guys. So, let me see. Okay. I will put here this time one, one, one. All right, save it. Let me open. Upload it from file from on the computer. Browsing one, one, one. Wow, it's taking a long time. Okay. We can do it again. So, if I could highlight on everything and clean it, Doesn't let me. On iPad is difficult to clean. You can clean it uh, on uh, laptop. All right, let me try to upload again one more time. Load computer from file. One, one, one. If it won't upload again, so I'll just give up. Uh, you know what to do anyway, right? I'll do this way. Hold on. So I'll click, uh, where is one, one, one? Let me clean all these. Maybe this is also causing trouble. 
you never know it's a program and uh, okay I can close this and here I will upload on my computer browse no it's still having card time looks like I'm going to uh, copy paste again There we go. Okay, I put that too. Okay, save it. And now we are going to open load from file computer browse stat 2 here we go we got it very good so 71 in the title i'm going to move down here don't forget because if you uh, won't add it, then uh, 71 will be left out, which means uh, the information you will build will be incorrect. So let me see. Variable one. I have no idea why is it doing the way it's doing. Ask me easier question, but it does and we uh, just fix it. Okay. Moving to graphing, uh, where is it? Um, stem and brief. Okay. Here we go, we have stem and leaf. So you can write down uh, for, at the two, three, and uh, I believe that's it. We will check now why they, Five, they put it here and put zero. I don't know. We'll check it. Six is going to be zero, three, six leaves. You write down in the same uh, row through a comma. Seven is going to be one, two, three, six, nine, eight, zero, one, three, four, five, five, six, everything through comma. But I'm curious to see why this five, uh, uh, they left it empty as if 550 doesn't exist. So. Oh, we didn't sort out. Let me sort it. I forgot to sort, see? Here it is. All column. Well, it's only one column. Okay, variable one. Replace sort by variable one. Ascending order. And let's do it. We arranged. Okay, so how many we have? We have only two. Okay, and uh, so then ignore if it's create another uh, uh, the stem with no leaf on it. Just ignore it. Okay. All right. So then you can enter it, and uh, for the shape we are going to build the uh, histogram. We are building histogram based on variable one. Okay, and it's going to be through, how much it was, 52? I'm not going to worry about uh, width. We need the shape and uh, compute. Okay, this one looks like it's going to be skewed to the left. Yes? Okay. You can put all these and I'll put here skewed 
left scoot and jump to question. Obviously this uh, stem and leaf is gonna give me wrong because I didn't enter. Okay, this one is correct. All answers are correct. Uh, the only thing, is it appropriate to make a stem and leaf uh, plot? Yes, because it's definitely less than 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, uh, 26. Yes, less than 30. Okay. All right, so uh, we have this question also answered. Now moving to uh, next one. Let's see what we have in here, what we are going to do. The World Bank collects information on the fertility rate, children per woman in the country, and the expectancy of the person in years in each country. Life expect expectancy is uh, 2013 and uh, fertility rate is 2013. The data for 22 randomly selected countries for year 2011 are in the table below. Okay, as you can see here, we are going to build the graph and everything else for uh, two variables, fertility rate and average life expectancy. Till now, we were working only with one variable. Now we're going to work with two. So since data were collected for two, uh, what kind of uh, they are going to be quantitative, right? Because those are numbers. So uh, the correct graph to make is, this time it's not going to be bar chart or histogram. It's going to be scatter plot. Why? Because when we have two variables and they are paired, which means uh, they depend on each other, fertility rate and average, they are connected to each other, right? Fertility rate and average life expectancy. The best way uh, between them is relation. So the best way uh, to show it, it's uh, on scatter plot. Okay, we need to uh, make the scatter plot uh, using technology or by hand. Uh, well, I think it's going to be uh, difficult, uh, not difficult, it's going to be time consuming. Look at all this decimal notation. So I think you want, um, uh, that you will agree that it's better to do in uh, stat crunch. So let's see. I'm going to, oh, I figured out why um, one first data on stat crunch moving to title because uh, I guess they ex expect this title also to be, that's why first line uh, the, they expect to be title. This is why. Well, if I'm right, then this time we will be, um, we don't have to correct anything. Let's see. What to put there? I'll put. Um, FTT, okay. Fatty, all right, giving me fatty. <laughs> okay. All right, save it. Moving to our, we don't need this. Let me see, we don't need this. We move to our stat crunch. And uh, we need data, I'm sorry. Data, load, load from file, computer, browse. Here is fatty. Yeah, picked up. And we are uploading. See, yes, I was right, title. It's because of title. Now we don't need to do anything. So all we have to do, we need to graph a scatter plot. Stem and leaf, box plot, 
There we go, scatter plot. Okay, so X is gonna be fertility rate because uh, what uh, average life expectancy depends on fertility, right? Rate. Okay. And this is X and Y, which is vertical line. We always Y is dependent on X, so we put average life expectancy. Okay, we don't need to group by anything. Overlay polynomial order. We don't need to do anything. Okay. Um, okay, we're good. So we can graph properties. No. Okay, compute. Here we go. This is uh, our uh, scatter plot. As you can see, it's going down, right? The slope for this graph is negative. Let me take the picture of this graph, scatter plot, because we are going to find which one is gonna be the answer. Here it is. There is similarity, so it's gonna be difficult. Uh, I'm going to find out which one is going to be, uh, I'm going to find based on extreme values. Extreme values are these ones. The, this one, I have this point, I click on it and it came, and this one, okay. And I'm looking here. I think the answer is going to be the last one. This one. I think it's going to be this one. Let's go back and compare. See, uh, these two here, this one, this one, and this one. Uh, they are on the side, right? And here we have, uh, see on... Uh, these two graphs, this and this scatter plot, they are similar, but the difference is here, they have another, this uh, on the top, they have another outlier, this one. Let me see if I can show you better. See, outlier on the top one, two, three. Let me now go here. So as you can see here, we see outlier, here we see outlier, but on this side, there is no outlier. So I believe it's going to be this one. Okay, let's move to next. Which of the um, following is true about relation between f fertility rate and average life expectancy based on that? So when we look, our um, a result, so horizontally we have fertility rate and uh, average, uh, vertically we have average uh, life expectancy. The greater as we increase fertility rate, the average life expectancy is going down, right? So let me see what we have. Increase uh, fertility rate, average life expectancy trend to uh, increase uh decrease i think it's gonna be this one okay submit the question let's check six out of six points so correct 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 this is correct so we did choose correct one and this is correct okay let's solve uh, next one it's going to be the same thing, but it looks like. So two um, variable, and they are definitely related because it says uh, value in dollars, amount of annual rental income in dollars for a random uh, sample of 44 houses. So uh, house values and uh, income, they are related. So definitely it's going to be scatter plot. And... Uh, I'll just uh, do the easy part, uh, these questions that need to be answered. 
So we are collecting here for two. Uh, the, we have quantitative, right? And the correct graph is going to be scatter plot. And then you can uh, choose. So let me guess without uh, um, graphing. You already know how to pick up scatter plot graph. Oh, I need to increase, uh, arrange it in ascending order, but um, lo looking at the numbers, let me see if I can figure this out. Mm. Okay. I'm just going to guess. I think it's going to be... They are so similar. Let me see. Okay, I'm picking this one. I think it's going to be this one. Now, don't judge me because I did it roughly, so we'll see if it's going to work or not. So you know how to build the scatter plot already. But the result is, the thing is, all four are uh, at, uh, increasing, which means it's going to be, if you increase one, it's going to increase the other one. As we increase the value of house, the annual rental income, it's going to increase. Where is it? Uh... So it okay. Let's see. I am curious. Ah, it was wrong. Which one was correct? Wondering. Yeah, it's not gonna show whatever. Then you have to build it and you can see. Ah, and that's it. I'm done. Okay. See you at quiz. Yeah, I think I finished the uh, recording for uh, chapter two. And so next is going to be quiz two. Okie dokie.